If I start my SQL here, as you can see, I get this error that says my SQL shut down unexpectedly. This may be due to a blog port, missing dependencies or improper privileges. So how to fix this? The first thing you can do is check the logs. Scroll down all the way to the bottom. And here you will see the error that says can't start server. Only one uses of each socket address. Do you already have another MySQL server running on port 3306? This means that this port is already in use by some other process. So let's see how we can fix this. And after this, we will see two different methods to fix another issues. Open command prompt and enter this command. Let's start this character straight line. <laughs> I don't know what you call this. Find str colon 3306. Now, when you enter this, it will give you a list of process or processes that are using this port. So right now we have one process with ID this 25464 that is using this port. So what we'll do is we'll kill this process so that this process, this port is freed up. So copy this and open your task manager. The shortcut is control shift escape together. And this will open up here. Enter your process ID that we have just copied. And as you can see, my SQLD that is my MySQL server from Workbench is running. So right click on this and just click on end task. And now, as you can see, no process is using port 3306. You can verify this by entering this command again and hit enter. This time, as you can see, none of the processes are using port 3306. So now close this and go back to your control panel and click on start. And this time your port will be open and MySQL is now running as you can see here. Now, if you don't want to do all this stuff, you can just change the port number where MySQL is running, but all the other applications by default will use 3306. So in all the other applications where, you're, where you are using MySQL, you'll have to change the port to 3307 or whatever you want to use. So what you can do is you can just go to config, click on my.ini, scroll down here as you can see, the port is defined as 3306. Now, this is below client, right? We don't need to change this. We need to change the server one, this one. So here, below my SQLD, change this to 3307 or whatever you want. And then save this, then close this, stop the server and start the server again. This time, as you can see, it is using port 3307. So if you just change the port here, you don't need to change anything else that we have already done. So this is method one. Now, method two is to close and just open XAMPP as an administrator sometimes it's due to permissions so if it is a permission issue not a port issue you need to open xamp as administrator here you can start my sql again and this might solve your issue now if this is also not fixing your mysql stopped unexpectedly what you need to do is you need to go to the mysql installation folder so what you can do is click here on explorer and your xamp installation directory will open now go inside my sql here you will see delete these two log files and then try starting my SQL again. If it is still not working, what you can do is copy the data folder. You can just move it as a backup somewhere else. Just move it in the C drive, paste it here. And after this, go ahead and uninstall XAMPP and then install it again. After this, if you want the data back, what you can do is you can copy your databases from here. As you can see, my new DB and so on. Copy this and go back to your XAMPP installation directory inside MySQL and you can paste it inside your data folder after you have reinstalled XAMPP so that you'll not lose your data too. So try these and if you still have issues, let me know in the comments below.